Hello everyone, welcome back to my NeoFly career in Microsoft Flight Sim. This is going to be my first flight in the Beechcraft Model 18 and possibly my last flight in the Beechcraft Model 18. Basically, I want to go from Kochi, where we left off last time, uh, back to Tokyo. And really what I wanted to do was go to Kisarazu, where I know that there is a Milviz Cessna 310, uh, but I didn't have a mission to Kisarazu. This is the closest I could get. And so we'll go to RJTL. Uh, a distressing number of missions are actually radioactive missions, um, I should point out. Uh, we have a lot of radioactive material missions that could pay a lot, but I've uh, checked those off so that we don't get those. And once we've uh, eliminated those and we don't want to go to another country, uh, we end up with RJTL carrying clothes to Shimo Fusa Aero. And so that is the plan. I am going to pick that up. That's 2,946 pounds. And that means that I'm not going to have a whole load of fuel. Uh, so we can have 388 pounds of fuel, I guess. But I'll probably overload and be mac uh, more than my maximum takeoff weight, potentially. It's better than having too little fuel. Okay, so we're pretty well loaded up there. And let's go back to the game and see how this all goes. Shimo Fusa Arrow. Okay, it says about a two hour flight. So pretty long compared to the ones I've been doing. And actually it should fly right over Mount Fuji. Uh, we'll have to sort of dodge that a little bit. I don't want to get that high, but we'll manage the fuel once we get outside. Okay, going through to startup. Okay, pilot, that's everything stowed securely. We're ready for taxi. Let me check on that being stowed securely thing. Yeah, we're not the right mass, are we? Okay, just above. All right, good. Okay, maybe I want a different distribution of the fuel, though. I mean, if we take a look, I'd, I'd have to switch the fuels. I don't really want to switch the fuels, so they could just have them both in the left front and skip what's called external but isn't external. Just the rear tanks. No, 50% fuel should be enough. Well, no, that's not 50% overall though. 38% fuel. Okay, 40% total fuel and we're slightly over heavy. That's fine. Okay, so battery generator. Um, nav lights flashing right now. Magnetos. No seatbelt sign. We don't have passengers. Um, we can leave the rest. Starter left. And fine. Oh, let me check those. Yeah. Starter right. I'll just toggle the booster and click. Click. You're good to go. Contact the tower for clearance. Alright. Well, let's just get the landing lights. Beacon or strobe are off while engine running. <laughs> okay, I, I knew I should have put the beacon light on, but whatever. I didn't know that they were going to be picky about that this time. Okay, so we've got them on. Let's see, avionics. Depart. Which way is that? East. Okay. Alpha Romeo Alpha 412. Nope. Better boost myself up. Still not easy to see. Oh, I see a plane coming in there. I mean, maybe I can take off before it gets in? It's taking a while. Okay. Okay, take off clearance. 
Alpha 412 ready for east departure at runway 14. Oh, it is on. Traffic is Ember on short final. It is on final. That oh oh no stop 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 oh. It did come in. Okay. Yeah. Hold short runway one four. I'm holding Romeo, short. Alpha four one two. Tell me when. Alpha wing one six zero five contact ground on one one eight decimal seven five. Okay. Realize Romeo Alpha four one two wind one two eight at one zero. Departure to the east approved. Cleared for takeoff runway one four. Okay. Runway one four Ray Eyes Romeo Alpha four one two. Well, here we go. One one eight decimal. Have a safe journey, pilot. Landing That's lights off. I turned them on, I swear. Carrying three thousand pounds of clothes, basically. Okay, um I swear I turn on the landing lights. Well, okay, maybe I didn't. Well, let's see about this autopilot thing. Heading. Oh, it's not turning to the heading I selected. So, let's not do that. We could probably just have it hold roll and that would be all right. Toggle heading hold. Well, there's the heading thingamajig. Oh, okay. Both of them have to be on like that. Body weather again. Oh, we're going 187 knots ground speed. That's not bad. One hour and 42 minutes, it says, on the estimated time en route. But we only have an hour and 30 minutes of fuel. <laughs> um, is that right? Oh, uh, fuel quantity is here. Y axis. Okay. Well, tenths. We started off with more tents. I thought, thought we had started out with 40% overall. So I thought each tank had 50%, more than 50%. So I don't know why we we're at less than four tents there. Well, now that we've gained speed, I'm going to try and go up again. Okay, let's try 8,000 feet. Gets us clear of the clouds, more more or less. I mean, the clouds up front seem to get a little bit high, but for now. Wind is helping us. We've got a 27 knot tailwind. I really think there's some disconnect between the fuel I thought I had loaded and the fuel I got. There's a big important shrine at Issei, but so Issei is down there, but the Nagoya is at the top of the bay over there. As you can see. So we will continue. And I'll try not to smack into Mount Fuji. We are at only 8,000 feet and I think our past path crosses right over it. But I'm mostly worried about the fuel. Which currently reads, we're going to run out when we get there. So, I better have a good descent. Alright, things have been getting bumpier as we get closer to Mount Fuji. You can see the terrain here and we've been rocked about a little bit. Uh, clouds still obscuring any view of Mount Fuji. And, well, the fuel situation is still ugly, basically. I'm going slower than ever, but it's not helping. 
Well, Mount Fuji is somewhere up ahead there in the clouds. Really what this comes down to is going to be how much unusable fuel we have in the tanks. At this point, I don't know. Still very much approaching Mount Fuji here, and where is it? Where is it? Maybe closing the cow flaps could have helped a bit. But I, honestly, I don't know if this plane has modeled that much. Actually, the cow flaps don't look like they're open, do they? No, they are down there. Yeah, I don't know if it's modeled extra drag because of cow flaps or anything like that. The wind is so strong around here. Might account for more than the cow flaps. I definitely don't think any sort of overheating is modeled on here. The oil is cool as a cucumber right now. Yeah, definitely on the cold end. Sort of see something between those clouds there. Oh, mild clearing here. Is that Mount Fuji? Well, I think it is. Probably be anything else. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, okay, there's Mount Fuji. There you go. Closer than the previous time that we saw it during this career. Clouds really threatening any view of it. Well, seems like we could get closer given our track there. I went a little bit further south to avoid it and everything, but should be safe. How close am I to skirting that? <laughs> Maybe I'll go a little bit for herself here. Well, Mount Fuji out our window. But we're missing the peak there, so I'll take it from out here. Oh, there we go. I don't know which road up this is, but there's a road up there. Given how snowy it looks, probably closed <laughs> uh, until the snow clears. But yeah, still a good question how much unusable fuel there is. We're down to 6% looks like. And there's some sort of RJTR there. I'm gonna look at to see if it's a viable sort of place that we could land at just in case. Not really long. It says it's military, I think. We'd probably be better off going to RJTA. If we can't quite make it. And that's here. View back at Mount Fuji. With the beach Model 18 cruising along here. these hills in front of us worrying me okay we're passing over these mountains after which the Sagamihara sort of landing locations down here are possibilities that's if our fuel lets out before I expect it to. But we're getting down there. 
I'm really testing how much actual fuel there is. Okay, well, passing these two options as our abort opportunities. Next is RJTF, which is a small flying club field, so less than 3,000 feet, and otherwise Haneda. And beyond that, we just try and continue to RJTL. I'm waiting to decide when to take it off a of holding altitude. And starting descent. A little bit early for that now. But we're not an airliner. We could milk out some extra fuel like that. Okay, we are descending. Slowly. Okay, well, getting nearly zero fuel there. It says 11 minutes there, and we're 8 minutes to our destination. And descending. Destination runway is north-south. We're right over Tokyo now. There's all that scenery. Yeah, totally enjoy it with the clouds. Okay. Fly left traffic runway, one nine or Reyes Romeo, Alpha four one two. Oh, we can see some city there. Past all the good stuff, though. Alright, well, I'm taking it off of autopilot. It's really hard to see anything out this window, though. Uh, is that the runway? Oh, that's the runway. That's the runway there. Well, better watch out for the fact that there are two things that sort of look like an airfield. Okay. Start looking towards landing. They better clear me to land. I'm coming in anyway. At one seven. Clear to land runway one niner. Okay. It's a strong headwind. 25 knots. And it's a little bit off to the side. Whoa, whoa. Ah, the gusts are pretty strong. Okay, well, the wind's just knocked me off a bit. It's been a long flight, I don't want to mess it up. Well, nice landing, pilot. Well, that was only the first one. <laughs> There's gotta be a few. Transporter from dispatch. Clear the uh, runway and taxi to parking. Okay. Okay. Well, well, we're, we're on the ground. You don't have to say we're stalling. Reyes Romeo Alpha, four one two exit runway when able. Okay, we go that way. I'll take that. Oh, careful. Alpha, contact ground on okay, all right. Well, we're off. We survived. <laughs> one, two, six, that two, three, is hard to land. Alpha, four, one, I, I don't want to keep Bye. it. Well, the good thing about it is, apparently, 
Shimafus at ground ray ice Romeo Alpha 412 request taxi to parking. I can't see a darn thing like this. Um, the good thing is it seems to be able to use all of its fuel. Taxi That's nice. Using tax Whoa. When I press brakes and turn, it really turns fast. Oh, great. I have to make a U-turn into the slot. Connection lost. Well, hopefully that doesn't stop us from finishing this. Oh. Well, I'm green. It's green. Pilot standby. The cargo is being removed. Okay, uh, a little bit askew, but that's because of the whole connection loss thing, I'd say. Avionics, where are you? Oh, there's that dialogue. Two hours. Transporter from dispatch. Cargo unloaded and checked. It is always a pleasure to work with you. Okay, I think we just do that. You can start your engine now. All right, so that's done. Let's check in. Neofly has confirmed that. We are now have 135,000, but I need to get down to Kisarazu in order to pick up a different plane. Uh, maybe I can get it shipped over here. Hold on. Uh, so let's say let's let's say let's see about this functionality. Kisarazu. Well, I can go here. Oh, what what did it actually log as my landing speed? Uh, 148. Whatever. Anyway, uh, so let's say I'm looking for a 310. That kind of 310 in particular. Um, and the one at Kisarazu is this one. So if I rent it, I'm just going to say rent. Yeah. Okay, I've rented it. Okay, but then can I get this transported to me? Um, bring aircraft to pilot location. 626. So I can get it sent here. Which is probably worth it. I, I don't want to fly this plane again. I mean, it's got a bigger cargo but it's just not as pleasant to fly so I'm gonna I'm gonna have it brought over here all right it's it's instantly brought over here I'm gonna switch to it and even though the Beechcraft uh, model 18 is more capable I am going to ditch it so I'm gonna gonna say this one return to rented aircraft okay so now we're at 118, and the deposit for this was um, whatever it was. It was worth it. <laughs> anyway, so, uh, but it can't carry as much as the other one. Maximum 2,000. But yeah, that was harrowing with this plane that I can no longer fly. Um, gonna go back to the main menu in the sim. But yeah, still it's uh, that. But that paid us well, thirty-five thousand or so, or thirty-seven thousand. Still, with the Milvis three hundred and ten, we can get stuff up to twenty-seven thousand. Or if we go the hazardous route, we can manage forty-two thousand. So we'll have to see about that. But that one is unstable gas. <laughs> That is unstable gas. That's um, tempting, tempting, but we'll have to see. Maybe I should start light with the fuel to Nagoya. That only has a landing requirement. But I think I'll leave that for next time.